Hi guys, FeedBuddy here, welcome to another video. So as you can see by the title, we are in Season 2. And if you haven't already, make sure to check out last episode, which was the end of season rewards. So we start today's video off with an offer for Wesley. Now let's have a look at that because there might be a chance that we do sell him this season. 17 million is a lot for him, but I want to go for 20. 17, no, but there's a 2% sell on clause, no, still no, I want a 13% sell on clause, and 19.1 million, no, well, Wesley staying them, so after our signing of Jude Bellingham, let's take a look at what it will look like in our squad, so as well we have players like Douglas Louise coming back, from loan as well as Valkovic, Ramsey. So we've got some great talents coming back from loan. Valkovic, I'm trying to get out on another loan for this season. Um, and Douglas Louise, I definitely want to see more from him for him this season. Of course, Dan James, another great asset to the squad. Samata as well, maybe again loaning him out. El Ghazi. So we've got some great, some great players there. Um, Ahmad, he may, we've got him permanently now, which I think is great because I don't think Man United would let us have him for another year on loan because he's doing really well, but they probably want him back. So let's see him the poor, the Benfica match, and it's a 1 1 draw. That isn't bad at all, especially with a team against like Benfica, Dortmund drawing. Can we beat them? No, we lose narrowly by two goals to one. Again, not a bad result. Let's just keep take a look at our scouting report. And we've got some good little ones there. Um, we'll just change the budget. No, I'm going to reject them. And let's look. We've got Jeremio next. Is that a win? Yes, so we're playing Sevilla in the semi-finals. We lose 2-1 again. We're getting really close though. We're so close. Okay, our next match is against Vital in the qualifying rounds. That will not be until later in the episode though. We have an offer for McGinn and an offer for El Ghazi. Let's take a look at the McGinn one first. £24.1 million they are, Dortmund are offering for him. So... Let's have a look at the players that they do have. Midfielders, Brandt, Mount, Shan, Lois. Lois is too old. Emily Shan is a year older than McGinn, but a few higher rated. No way we're going to get Haaland. Um, Centre backs, Hummels, Hermoso, Torres. So Torres or Hermoso would be the best. I'm going to go just a straight McGinn Torres swap. No, nope. okay, well, again, McGinn isn't going anywhere. Okay, we've got a transfer for El Ghazi that we're just going to re reject straight away. Now, we have a good list of right backs Dallo, Klein, Maffeo. We are going for the Stuttgart player, though, because he looks the highest rated and the most talented. Um, we'll give them Bunasar because he's injured. He's gone down two already. So we'll give him 20 million. Now we'll go 16 and Bunasar. They've accepted. We could be getting rid of an injured player for an even better player at a younger age. That would be great business because Bunasar, he's. Yeah, that's what happened with Sanson. The same thing happened with Sanson. We got rid of him, we got Bellingham, and because they're injured, and that's the problem that you get when you're injured, you ruined your career. Important five years, three years, Maffeo wants. Yeah, we'll accept Pablo's demands. No release clause in 35k or wage. Yeah, we'll accept that. We have signed Pablo Maffeo from Stuttgart. 
We have an offer for Anwar El Ghazi from Fiorentina. Let's negotiate. I want nine million, like Montpellier offered us. So we're meeting with the manager. Eight million. He's worth seven point five. That's a bit more. We'll go nine. Nah, ten. We'll go ten. Ten. We'll go ten. Eight million. Still want eight million. Okay. What about if we go nine? Eight million. We'll meet in the middle then. Um. Eight point four. Accepted. And we have sold El Ghazi. And we've got another offer for McGinn. This time from Arsenal. He's very popular, the Scotsman. Um, but I'll be looking to keep him at the club for this window. Um, 25.2 million. He's worth 22. Thomas Partey would be great. Or, let's go with Ben Doozy, actually. Ben Doozy's worth about 15 million. I want that should be really fair. Five million and Venduzzi. Okay, that's a bit easy. We've got eight million in Venduzzi. No, they're not. Why well, we're rejecting it then? Okay, then they are going to give us thirty-five. No, well, McGinn again isn't going. So I'm going to let's look for Andrew Lunin for a backup goalkeeper, as of course. Tom Heaton is going to retire at the end of the season so let's try and give them Tom Heaton and pay 14 million and see what they say no they want 29 million no 19 million is the highest we're going we need to back out give it one last chance we'll go 24 they don't accept that. We're not. We're not wasting our time. No. Lunin. We're not getting him. So it's a fail for that. It's not going to work. The Ukraine international he doesn't want to come. I don't blame him to be honest. But we are. If you're not going to want to move from Real Madrid to Aston Villa, Aston Joe looks a bit too old. Balcom, of course, Brentford, Cardiff. And Nottingham Forest coming up from the championship. Um, let's look. Leno, probably a bit too old. Patricio, too old. Pickford, too old. Joel Pereira, don't think his rating is high enough. Malik Dodak, he looks great. Runnison, let's go with Runner, Alex Runnison. They don't want to sell. Then we'll go Malik Dodak. Okay, we'll negotiate with Scott Parker about trying to buy the Slovakian. Okay. So let's offer seven million. Nine point three. Done. Done deal for Marek Rodak. That is very, very cheap for a high quality goalkeeper. And if he does leave our club in the save, I'll be hoping for maybe 15 million for him. Sporadic, he will be the backup and probably he will probably play instead of Tom Heaton this season um, in the Europa League if we do get past the qualifying stage. And he'll probably play in FA Cup and the Carabao Cup matches depending on how important they are. And then we've just got the wages now, 45 million with a 500k signing bonus and that's our second signing Rodak and Pablo Maffeo we've got a loan offer for Conor Horahan <laughs> got to accept that and so we do and have we got anything else to do or are we just gonna wait until the Vistrol match we've got an offer for Douglas Louise no, I don't want to sell him. Arsenal again. Arsenal, stop getting our players. Okay, as you can see, we've got the Europa League background. That means the match is getting closer and closer. I really think we need to get off to a good start against this team because we don't really know their qualities, to be honest. I've never heard of them. 
and we've learned that Holohan. Um, have we got anything else to do? Let's we see our scouting report. Yeah, let's take a quick look. 42 from 361. Luca Thomas will be maybe coming up at the end of this season. If we do do another season next, we will probably bring him up and the press conference in two days for Vitoro. Okay, here comes the press conference. There's going to be questions about Maffeo, questions about Rodak. Yeah, Maffeo, we'll see how it goes. He will play, in my opinion. I think he will play. Esli Konsa. He's not in bad form, but we'll keep him. Um, Dan James will probably, again, probably will play this match. Looking at the lineup, Dan James does start, so it is Grealish. Concert, Target, Bellingham, Adams, James, Samata, Wesley and Maffeo. So we're off at Town Park. It's the ball has been kicked. We do go from left to right and that's great by Bellingham. Bellingham has played Samata through. Samata with a lovely chip. Samata with a great goal. That's the first goal of the season for Aston Villa and the first goal for Samata. And Wesley into Dan James. Dan James has got an opportunity to start his season off with a goal. He shoots. He scores. It's making it look easy. This is only the qualifying rounds for the qualifiers. So we've got a long way to go. And that's a great ball in again. This time it's Grealish. Can he get the header? No. It's shocking from Jack Grealish. But we are getting closer to the second half. We are in the 34th minute. The Scanderon. Scanderon! It's a good save by Emiliano Martinez. Here's Samata. That's great play. Here's Wesley. Wesley up from the outside of the box. Wesley! What a goal by Wesley! That is a goal of the season contender already from outside of the box. And here's Cordova. Cordova. Did that touch his Maffeo's hand? No. And the ball goes out for a goal kick. And that's a poor challenge again. And he's going to be booked. And Ahmad. Ahmad now. Ahmad Diallo. Is that going to be a left foot volley? Yes it is and it's going to be a left foot goal. That's 3-0. Outstanding. That's 4-0. Four, that's four and Dan James. Into Wesley. Wesley has scored. That's the cherry on the cake. And we are in cruise land at the moment. 5-0 full time. So we've got an offer for Jacob Ramsey. Line will accept that and a £19 million offer for Wesley. He did great though against Vito, so I'm going to reject it. Because I think there's more to come from him, definitely. And Matty Cash thinking he's not going to play. He's definitely still our first choice right back. There's no way, even though Pablo Maffeo is great, and he's coming in, Matty Cash will still be the number one. We've got an offer for the Finland job. Okay, Nohana, our new left back. I'm going to reject that, actually. He's a youngster. I think it'll be good for him to go out on loan, but I think he'll play a lot this season. We've also got an offer for Shay Adams. The £28.4 million. Pounds. Um... That's a lot of money for him. I don't even think. I think he's worth about 18, not 28. Okay, he's worth. That his value is 28 million. Okay, we'll go 35. 35.4. 20. What? 21 now. 31. FIFA have done it again. Oh, FIFA, stop doing this. We'll go 29. Okay, FIFA, you're broken. 
Okay guys, that's all for today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe. So guys, thanks for watching today's video. Make sure to come and watch next video. We will be playing Manchester United. We'll have the second leg of Vithol. We'll have a Premier League match against Arsenal. And much, much more. And from the Fink Buddy, goodbye for now. So, player of the episode from last episode was Ollie Watkins.